Hey guys, I'm back with another Christmas video. To start, I'm going to show you how to make my Rudolph cookie slices. These are delicious and gonna be great for Christmas. So into a bowl, I'm going to sift all of my dry ingredients. So I have some plain flour. It might not be snowing outside, but it's snowing in here. On top of that, I'm pouring over some cocoa powder, some salt and some bicarbonate of soda. Once that's all mixed together, I'm gonna to pop that on the side, grab another bowl and mix my two sugars and butter together. So I have some caster sugar and some soft light brown sugar. This is gonna give the cookie a really nice flavor. Cracker time! Oh, lost again! Ooh, a festive green hat this time. That's what I like to see. <gasps> How cool! I thought it was a mini pack of playing cards, but I actually think it's a trick. I'll be able to get my friends and family with that one. And as for the joke, where does mistletoe go to become famous? Holly Wood. Get it? Holly? Oh wait, mistletoe doesn't have holly leaves on. I was thinking, ah, I'm confused. Where does mistletoe go to become famous? Hollywood. Let me know in the comments if you get that joke, because I don't. Time to add in some flavor. I'm gonna grate in some orange zest. This is gonna go great with the cocoa powder and the chocolate chips. Looking for about two teaspoons here. I think orange is such a classic Christmas flavor, which goes great with chocolate. You don't even need all of these decorations to make your kitchen feel Christmassy. And into that, I'm going to crack my egg. That is now ready to get my dry ingredients added in gradually. Final step to make these cookies even more delicious, I'm gonna add in some chocolate chips. Now that my mixture is all combined, I can pour that into my baking dish. I'm just gonna leave all of the ingredients and the oven temperatures in the description box below. That can now go into the oven. Cracker time! Let's see what we got, I won! Got a nice little blue hat there. If I didn't have mine on, I'll pop that on. Hey, one of those flying frogs. Let's have a go. Can't beat a classic Christmas toy. And let's see what joke we've got. What did Cinderella say when the chemist lost her photographs? Someday my prince will come. <laughs> prince, prince, like it. Good old cheesy cracker joke. Now that my cookie has cooled, it's time to decorate the reindeers. Now I've cut my cookie into eight triangles and I'm going to give each of those a red nose and I'm just using a Smarty. And to help glue that on, I'm going to dip that into some white chocolate. I'm going to place that into the tip of each triangle. Now it's time to add on the eyes. I'm using some candy eyes, but if you don't have these, you can just make these from fondant. Super easy to make. And I'm gonna pop these on and give my reindeer some character. I love this part. I think it really brings the reindeers to life and gives them character. And finally, I'm breaking up some mini pretzels for the antlers. Adding on those antlers really brings them to life. I love it. So that is how you make my super cute reindeer cookie slices. Easy.